turn the uh, temperature gauge off and we'll see what we're getting. Twenty-three degrees, twenty-four. Okay, it's slowly going up now. Of course, the boiler is trying to warm itself up. Heat the water up inside as the water running through it from the mains is taking the heat away. Hence why it takes some time to actually warm up. Okay, we're at 36 degrees. 38, up to 47 seconds. 39 degrees. 40, 41, ready, 42. So I'm slightly over, but it's about just over a minute there. It's one minute, two seconds. And if you check here, we're about nearly full to the brim, uh, with about 20 mils short of water. It's equivalent to around about 11, 12 litres of water wasted. If you put your hand in that, it's still pretty cold at the moment, which I can even test with the temperature gauge. The actual temperature of the water in the bowl is only 30.9, okay, which isn't any good for washing dishes or washing your hands or anything. Okay, so we'll fit the combi save and then we'll, we'll do the test immediately afterwards. Okay, we'll go for the test with the combi save. It's fitted now. Just turned on the boiler, it's just doing its normal uh, check runs. I went to the fan dies down, there it goes. So it's exactly the same temperature as we started off with that the combi save. So let's try this again now. I'll turn the tap on and the start at the same time. There you go. As you'll notice the flow rate is reduced at two and a half litres a minute, though it's enough to start swilling your hands or, or whatever you want to do. A lot of people can actually just fill a bowl up direct and this should still be hot enough at the end of the day. Okay, we're at 30 degrees already. 25 seconds gone. 34, 35. Start to open. 38, 44. Many hands. But I just looked at that then, it was 33 seconds. So that's about half the time. Now, the interesting thing here is if you look at the amount of water that's been used or run off, it's a tiny percentage.